Hello, I'm Steve Lisk, head of school at Lancaster Country Day School. We are a junior kindergarten through 12th grade college preparatory school, very happily celebrating our centennial this year. It's our first time participating in Brain Busters and we're thrilled to be a part of it. Best wishes to both teams. Rich, back to you. Thank you and thank you for staying with us. It's turning out to be a terrific match between Middletown and Lancaster Country Day. But before the action resumes, here's a chance for you to play along with our Pashy Pop Quiz. The Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education is the largest provider of higher education in the Commonwealth. There are 14 great universities that make up Pashy or the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education. Let's head over to one of those great universities, Millersville, for today's question. What writer from Maine won a Pulitzer Prize in 1923 at the age of 31 for the Harp Weaver and other poems? Now, if you know the question or would like to see the question again, here's what you need to do. Go online to WGAL.com slash Brain Busters to answer this question and have a chance to win this super soft chenille blanket embroidered with a capital Blue Cross logo. It's simply perfect for staying warm on chilly nights. Whether you take it with you to a football game or use it while watching Brain Busters from the comfort of your couch, this blanket has you covered. Plus, you can email me with any questions or comments about the show. It really is a great blanket. Now let's get back into this game to our pivotal round, the bonus Brain Buster. During our break, our teams wagered from 0 to 50 points based on their knowledge of the author, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Lori Burkhalter is standing by in the newsroom with today's question. Lori? Thanks, Rich. Here's your bonus brain buster for the day. F. Scott Fitzgerald took the title from O to a Nightingale by John Keats. What is this novel about a mentally ill woman and her physician husband? Again, F. Scott Fitzgerald took the title from O to a Nightingale by John Keats. What is this novel about a mentally ill woman and her physician husband? Good luck with your answer. Now back to you in Studio A. Rich? Thanks, Lori. Okay, teams, we'll give you about five seconds. Good luck. Okay, takes us to the end. Nate, can you write something down? No? Okay, we're going to give him a chance. You eagerly wrote something down, Zach. We're going to let Nate finish. There was a little bit of hesitation. Okay, of course, maybe if you know already with thee, and if you complete that poem, you might have the right answer. I'm going to copy down. <laughs> the yellow wallpaper. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. How much did you uh, wager? 15. 15 points? <laughs> 15. Okay, that was a good wager, obviously, taking you down to 215. Nate, it's up to you. Already with thee, tender is the night, is the correct response. We're going to deduct, how many points was that? Uh, 35 points. Okay, taking you down to 165. 215 to 165. Who's going to come back for a third appearance? We're going to start finding out right now with today's Keystone Health Final Frenzy. 20-point questions. Here we go with our first 20-point question. Rurik founded the first Russian dynasty. Uh, Kunyut ruled England, Denmark, and Norway. Eric the Red discovered in uh, Greenland. His son Leif reached North America. To what Scandinavian culture did they all belong? Zach? Um, the Norse? No, sorry, that's incorrect. Nate? Vikings. The Vikings is correct. In January 2008, French sailor Francis Joyen set a new record for sailing around the world alone. Within five days, how long did it take him? Caitlin? Five days. No, sorry. <laughs> Lancaster Country Day? The correct answer is 57. A faded southern belle comes to New Orleans to live with her sister Stella and Stella's husband Stanley. What is this play by Tennessee Williams? Nate? Streetcar Named Desire. You are correct for 20 points. American Express, Boeing, Chevron, DuPont, and IBM are among the 30 members of this group of stocks whose performance is used to reflect, Nate again. Fortune 500. No, sorry, that's incorrect. I'm going to complete the question for Middletown. That's used to reflect the performance of the whole stock market. What is this index of figures? Caitlin? No, NASDAQ? No, sorry, it's the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Researchers think that they were once independent organisms that were absorbed into our cells, which is why they have their own DNA, Zach. Mitochondria. Mitochondria is correct. A huge water snake native to South America gave its name, Zach again. Anaconda. Anacondas, yes. Found from Bolivia to Britain, their mount, mo monuments and structures made of a single huge stone. In fact, their name, Noah. Monoliths. Monoliths, that's what their name means, one stone. It is the element of a set, which for a particular particular operation leaves every other element unchanged. What is this element called? Zach? Catalyst. No, sorry, that's incorrect. Jonathan? Constant? No, it's the identity element. It's properly called aquarelle, but this painting technique has a more common name. 
What is it? Noah. Watercolor. Watercolors, yes. The Czechoslovakian word for drudgery or forced labor became part of the English language. Nate. Robot. Robot is correct. Once a country along the North Sea, it's now a region shared by Belgium, France, and the Netherlands. What region was is famous for its cloth and painting and was the scene of prolonged fighting during World War I? Corey. Normandy? No, sorry, that's incorrect. Thank you, Sir Country Day. Nate. Holland. No, it's the Flanders. In 2002, he became the first to make a solo balloon flight around the world. In September 2007, he was reported missing while flying over the Nevada desert. Nate, again. Um, Steve Fawcett. He's the one, yes. It's about 25 miles long and four to seven miles wide with a population of about, of about one and a half million Palestinians. What enclave borders the Mediterranean, Nate? The Gaza Strip. The Gaza Strip is correct. In 2008, NASA will service it one last time and hope that it will function until at least that. The space shuttle. No, sorry. So at least 2000, is it Nate? International Space Station. No, 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 no. The astronomical observatory that was launched in 1990 was the Hubble Space Telescope. Well, that sound takes us to the end of the round and to the end of the game. It looks like Lancaster Country Day really came alive. We'll be back in just a moment. At WGAL Town Meetings, we want to hear from you. It's a chance for grassroots people to give you story ideas. Hi, I'm Lori Burkholder. And I'm Jerry Gish News 8. Tell us what's going on in your community and get answers about the switch to DTV at our next town meeting in Gettysburg. April 14th at 7 p.m., WGAL, along with our partners, WGET and WGTY Radio and the Gettysburg Times, will be at the Gettysburg Fire Hall. Listening to you, the Susquehanna Valley's news leader, News 8. Hi, I'm Marianne Milano. Want to save money at the grocery store? Go to WGAL.com and click on Coupon Bug. We've got coupons to print from home or when you're at work. Start saving today with WGAL.com and Coupon Bug. Racism has an ugly history. Divisiveness, exclusion, hate. We're making new history, seeing beyond color, national origin, and religion. Help eradicate racism. Run or walk in the YWCA's annual Race Against Racism. In Lancaster, York, and Harrisburg on April 25th. Visit your local YWCA website to find out more. A unified vision of tomorrow begins with you. Sponsored by PSECU and WGAL. Disney on Ice, 100 years of magic. It's the celebration of the century with more than 60 of your favorite Disney characters in one spectacular ice show. Come celebrate the magic of Disney. Experience all the magical Disney moments you'll remember forever right here at home with family-friendly ticket prices starting at $15. See Disney's unforgettable characters and stories come to life at Giant Center April 15th through 19th. Get your tickets today. Mako paints more than half a million cars every year. We do it faster and we do it for less. Mako, America's body shop. This week, our ambassador paint service is just $249. Go to Mako.com. Thanks for staying with us. What a great game. Lancaster Country Day really came alive at that last round, and they're going to come back for a third appearance. Now, at the end of our tournament, one of our teams is going to walk away with a whole load of prizes, including $5,000 in scholarship money to one of the 14 universities that make up the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education, a generous cash scholarship from Capital Blue Cross. And Capital Blue Cross, our corporate sponsor, will give away literally thousands of dollars worth of prizes to each of the winning team members, as well as many of their lucky peers. Now, on the next Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters, we're so excited to welcome back Warwick and Redland. One of them is going to challenge Lancaster Country Day in round three. We hope to see you next time. So long and make it a great day. Well done. You girls have practice after school today? Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Hang on, kids. Oh, my God. Come on, kids. You know the drill. Paranoid about driving with that car insurance? Call us for affordable state minimum coverage. 1-800-SAFE-AUTO. We keep you legal for less. Let's take it down. We're celebrating Passover with a very fun Joan Rivers next Martha. Coverage you can count on continues with a 24-hour news update from News 8. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm your News 8 Storm Team Meteorologist, Lori Pinson. Wind advisory is up for the lower Susquehanna Valley until 4 o'clock this afternoon. A mix of clouds and some and decreasing clouds, so it will be a bit cooler today, 54 to 58 degrees. High pressure building in overnight, mostly clear.